Hello. Today, I'll be showing you how you can use your DSLR to connect to OBS for live streams and recordings. So first thing you're going to want to do is open Safari or your web browser and type in your Canon camera. And so mine is the Canon SL2, so I'm going to search that. And I click on the Canon, the USA.Canon.com link for your camera and click product support. Now you're going to want to go to drivers and downloads. So you're going to want to look for EOS Utility 3.7.0 for Mac OS. It might be newer. Uh, this was just recently updated not too long ago. So I'm going to click Select, Download. And so your file will start downloading. Once that's done, you're going to want to open it. Open the DMG. Click the Installer. Click Open. Now click your area. OK, install, yes, now type in your password. So now this is just going to install. And so you're going to come here. Uh, would you like to register now? No, I'll register later. OK, finish. And so now you should see this icon in your dock, EOS Utility. You're going to want to click that and pair it over Wi Fi slash LAN. Now, if we go over to the camera, we can go ahead and flip this on. And so now you're going to want to click the little Wi Fi button to go to your Wi Fi settings. Go into Wi Fi settings, enable Wi Fi. Go back, go to Wi-Fi function, now click this computer icon. Now register a device for connection. And so now it'll open up this network. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to your Wi-Fi menu and wait for the camera to show up. So now you can see it right here, Canon or WeedC688, I'm gonna click that. Now, I need to look at the password, which is 8961525. 8961525, click join. And so now I'll give this a minute, and it should say you're connected to your camera. So now on your camera, you're going to want to click start pairing devices OK. So now it'll start pairing with the computer. So it'll tell you that the camera was detected. So now you can just click connect here. Now it'll say your MacBook wanted, wants to connect to the camera. Click OK. So now you should come to this screen. And on your computer, you should get this. So what you're going to want to do is just close this window and open up camera live. And so now camera live sees the DSLR right here. So now all we're going to want to do now is go to siphon inject and open up open broadcasting software. So I don't know what it stands for OBS and go to where it says uh, camera live click inject. So now if you go in OBS and you click game capture. OK. You can change the source to camera live and boom. So you now have a live feed from your DSLR. It's kind of slow over Wi-Fi. All right, so as to actually stream as well as get Wi-Fi from your camera at the same time, you are going to need to use ethernet. So I just have my ethernet plugged in right here. You see I'm using an adapter, but if I go into my settings, you can see that I have my Ethernet and my Wi-Fi right here. Wi-Fi is connected to the camera, and my Ethernet adapter is connected to my network. So now I can actually stream and get video from my camera at the same time. If I just start streaming right here, you can see I'm not getting any audio down here. You're going to want to go into settings, use your built-in microphone. Unfortunately, uh, 
It doesn't get any audio from the camera, but it does get video. So see, you can hear me right now. So if I click start streaming, you can see I'm streaming now. And also I would recommend streaming off of ethernet whenever you can because streaming off of Wi-Fi is super unstable in my experience. We could see that we're green, we're live, and here's the live feed from my camera. So you can see if I pet this cat, give it a couple seconds to update. And so that is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this works. Let me know if you have any problems. And that will be all.